What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here. So in this video, I wanna showcase what I think is the best build to use this week to farm the Glassway GM. I just got done doing a solo run where I died with only a third of the health bar left on the boss. I died to a uh, Wyvern, um, you can see it on screen now. But yeah, basically this build absolutely wrecks. It's great for solo, but it would be even better with a team in my opinion where the Titan build that I showed uh, isn't as good in a team setting just because you can't control collective obligation. But enough about that build, I wanna jump into this one. So there's so Solar Surge this week and we can see uh, I'm running Celestial Golden Gun. So it's doing a ton of damage. We run Weaken Snare Bombs to do a 15% weaken. Duskfield Grenades for the overloads. Threaded Spectre is really nice for uh, a decoy especially on like overloads or wyverns. Winter Shroud is nice if an overload pushes you, you can dodge and stun it. Facet of Protection, this just gives you increased damage resist when you're surrounded and in that uh, tight little room in the boss room, uh, this will help you stay alive. Facet of Balance, rapidly defeating targets with light damage grants melee energy. So this is just uh, to get our abilities back. Facet of Dawn, this will make us radiant. So when we throw out the snare bomb, we're doing a 15% weaken and 25% from radiant. And this buffs our golden gun. So we're dealing a ton of damage. Facet of grace, defeating targets with kinetic weapons grants you bonus transcendence energy. So this is huge uh, with outbreak perfected. We get crazy fast transcendence, as you'll see in some of the background gameplay. It is crazy. Uh, Facet of courage, your arc solar and void abilities deal increased damage to targets afflicted with darkness debuffs. So you throw out a dusk field, the snare bomb, and uh, <clears throat> that's a 10% buff even more on your golden gun. So it absolutely slaps. And then facet of purpose, picking up an orb of power grants uh, restoration because we have the solar. And then I run outbreak perfected, wilder flight. So again, it's void surge. I have disorienting, auto loading vorpal. This is great for disorienting the wyverns to help you stay alive. And this works on the little hydra mini boss. So it's absolutely amazing. And then Edge Transit with Envious Bait and Switch. You can kill a champ in one stun as long as you get a weaken off because this is a 15% weaken. But then we have Expanding Abyss. So Void Sources deal increased damage to weakened targets. So that will be 25% more damage. And then we get 25% from Radiant with our melee. And then Shield Crush. Um, so while we're Radiant, our grenades charge faster. Void Hegemony, uh, defeating weakened targets provides a small overshield, so we're getting an overshield, which also helps with Shield Crush for our melee. Radiant Orb, so when we pick up an orb, we get uh, Radiant, and then Counter Energy to give us uh, more ability energy when we stun a champion. So this build is crazy. I'll quickly go through the mods. Void Siphon, Kinetic Siphon, Heavy Ammo Finder. This keeps our grenade launcher up because uh, you get increased drops when you're using a primary exotic which we are in outbreak and then kinetic loader which is nice i run fastball just because when i was doing this solo the dusk fields don't quite reach those captains in time before they dodge but once uh i threw on fastball it was much more consistent arc resist void resist and concussive dampener void scavenger to pick up more edge transit and wilder flight from our bricks and then Kinetic and Void Weapon Surge, just for an increase uh, to our uh, all our weapons when we pick up an Orb of Power. So we get Radiant and we get Surges. So Outbreak absolutely slaps. And then I run Time Dilation to increase that Surge Timer, Bomber, and Powerful Attraction to easily pick up Orbs. So yeah, Outbreak absolutely chews through the boss. It's crazy and like all the ads. So yeah, I'm just going to play some clips to show off the build. But yeah, if you're looking for an awesome build to run this week to farm Glassway, I would say this is it. A lot of people have been using the, uh, whatever those Arc Soul gloves are, Getaway Artists on Warlock, and then the Song of Flame, and that is really good. But if you're on a Hunter, I 100% recommend this build. It's so good.